what's up? It's Foster and I'm really excited for this video because I got news that our new FA24 closed deck block is ready for pickup in the engine department. So why don't we go ahead over there and we can check it out. So here is the new prototype FA24. And I'm gonna talk a little bit with Mason who works in our engine department since I know a lot less than he does about this stuff. So what do we got going on here? So here we got our FA24 closed deck block. This starts off with a factory FA24 case set and it is closed decked and machined for IAG firelock gaskets. It's got uh, our IAG custom spec JE pistons. It's got our IAG Competition Series H-beam rods and a factory FA24 crank and then some ACL rod and main bearings in it. Cool, so obviously the biggest visual difference that you can tell between the stock FA24 block here and our closed deck one is the closed decking, so what's the benefit of that? So the main benefit to closed decking is cylinder rigidity and strength. A lot of these blocks are coming open deck from the factory and they're just not very strong. Once you start making a lot of power, these cylinders tend to move around and flex and they can cause a block to crack and have, cause all kinds of problems. Um, with closed decking it, you are significantly making the block stronger. And like with our EJ series, we've seen 11, 1200 horsepower without cracking the closed deck. All right, well cool. Thank you, Mason, for talking to us about the internals of our prototype FA24 block. So why don't we take this thing over to the cylinder head department and we can dress this up as a full long block. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm the assistant manager here in the engine department at IAG. Uh, I got the stock 22 WRX heads that are going to be going on our FA24 uh, testing long block. Um, at this point, we're at least going to be drilling out the head studs to accept the 14 millimeter head studs required for fire lock. We'll also be doing our uh, coolant floor plug replacement kit, um, so you don't have to worry about uh, those popping out if we do have a failure. Um, but I'll be working with these heads and developing packages for the future. Probably also do some valve springs, but not exactly sure at this point, so you're going to have to leave this stuff with me. And we'll, uh, we'll see. check back in, with, in a couple weeks and see what we come up with. Before we get started yanking the engine out of our 22WX, the first thing we're going to actually do is strap this thing down on the dyno and do some baseline runs. That way we have some numbers to go off of and then when we install the closed deck FA24, we'll really have a good baseline to compare those numbers versus the stock ones. Alright, good morning. We've got the 22WX on the lift today and that's because we're finally ready to get started taking the stock engine out of here. Even though it's only got 4,000 miles, we're ready to put our prototype FA24 in here so that we can get started with some development. So luckily I've got Dylan helping me out with this project today. He's going to make this really quick and effortless, so let's go ahead and get started. We've got the WRX in the air to drain the fluids, but uh, I do have a small confession to make. We were on a photo shoot yesterday and I was driving the WRX and uh, maybe I didn't see a speed bump. So there may or may not be some damage to the front lip underneath of it where I kind of took off and caught a little bit of air. Conclusion, don't drive your lower WX off jumps because it doesn't seem to go very well. So there 
there you have it. We've got the stock engine out of our 22 WX, and as you saw, the engine department is starting to develop the FA24, so that's really exciting news. I can't say exactly when all that's gonna happen. It'll take a little bit of time, but if you're a VB WX owner, it's definitely gonna be a lot of cool parts coming in the future. With that said, if you guys do like this content, make sure you let me know in the comments section down below. And that's all I got planned for this video, so I'll see you guys in part two.